if I'm not mistaken, you or your team, you make these Zestimates, right? So now you're basically going to put your money where your mouth is. Hey, Matt, good afternoon. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, we're, uh, and not just soon, but uh, today, uh, consumers can, uh, in the 20 markets where we're rolling this out, and on a subset of homes in those markets, consumers can go to Zillow and look at their Zestimate and, uh, and may be able to actually uh, use that as an initial cash offer um, for us to buy your home. So super excited about this. It's been you know 15 years in the making, kind of when we started. We were dreaming we would get to this point where we, you know, where the valuation would be a you know initial cash offer to transact, and, and we're happy to be here. Okay, so talk to me about the inputs. Uh, how do you decide what a home is worth? Uh, you know, in a market where you know you're not the realtor, you haven't been doing it there for decades. You're using all kinds of you know digital information and analytics. What are the inputs into what's going on to uh, guesstimating what what these homes are worth? Yeah, Amber. So it's a great question. Uh, generally, you know, it, our valuations kind of are a combination of two things high quality data and then great algorithms. So on the data side, we're basically taking public record data, listing data from brokerages and MLSs, sold data and, and imagery. Um, and then we put that into algorithms and essentially the algorithms, you know, I won't, you know, bore you with all the kind of details. Essentially they're trying to do something that's pretty intuitive, which is to find a set of homes that are similar to, your, to the house we're trying to value and then make adjustments for small differences between the subject home and those comparables. And that's how we produce the valuation. And over the 15 years, when we started back in 2006 with this estimate, our error rates were north of 14%. Today, they're under uh, initially 1.9% for on-market homes. And then uh, for homes where we've made an offer through Zillow offers, um, but sellers have decided to sell their homes traditionally, so not sell to us, but try to traditionally sell their homes, those homes are selling for less than 1% difference than our offers we made to those consumers. So we're very accurate on the homes that we're making Zillow offers on right now. So it's a lot of homes, uh, 500,000 properties across 20 markets. My initial thought today is um, watch rates. Are you concerned about the direction uh, we see not only yields, uh, but the mortgage rates going right now? Isn't this going to cost you a lot? Well, more than it would have yesterday. Well, we, we, we do believe that Zillow offers is an evergreen business, meaning that it's a business that works both in up and down markets and regard, regardless of mortgage rates. So, and remember that we are we're using credit facilities to, um, to take purchase of those homes, and then we are holding those homes for a very limited amount of time because our goal is basically as a market maker to quickly take possession of that home, fix it up, and get it right back into the marketplace. So we're essentially a liquidity provider. So we don't have... Uh, you know, we, you know, long term, we do have capital costs, and those do bear some relationship to the 10 year uh, uh, yield curve. But generally, we're not, you know, we're not taking out 30 year mortgages in these homes, of course. All right, liquidity provider, but you're also not a charity. So I assume you're looking to make money on these homes that you're fixing up and flipping. What's the average rate of return? Well, uh, I, I guess long term, I'd say we think that there's uh, that this is a really good business. It's a really good business, both, both on the um, return per uh, for the home itself, but also, as I just mentioned, the fact that we're actually selling these homes pretty quickly means that we are reusing that same cash multiple times a year. So the annualized return for that, we think, looks very attractive. Um, and right now, we're mainly just trying to you know, grow this business, and so we're not really focusing on returns right now. We're just trying to uh, grow this business and, um, and, and get in front of consumers and to raise awareness of it. Dan, what's your take on the housing market right now? It seems like it's going to tighten up a little this year. Yeah, the housing market continues to be, a, you know, a, you know, really a, a bright spot amidst a you know broader economy that continues to see challenges, and we continue to have to put a lot of fiscal and monetary stimulus into the into the housing market. I'm, I'm sorry, into the broader economy. But the housing market, we think by the summer, it's going to be growing at north of 10% annualized rates of return. We think for the full year 2021, home back, uh, home rates are going to rise. I'm sorry, home prices are going to rise about uh, 10%, and we're going to see a lot of volume. So it's just a crazy housing market. You know, it's also weird that we're seeing a lot of volume of home sales, but inventory is very low. So essentially, the housing market has become like a just-in-time manufacturing process. Homes hit the market, and 14 days later, on average, they're being sold again. So we're selling very fast, and there's not very much inventory.